My name is Brian Flint. Um, in 1971, I joined a company, it was called um, Sinclair Radionics. And I, I joined as a design engineer, electronic design engineer. And um, I worked on a number of projects, one of which was a small television set. Around about 1975, there was a team of four engineers, uh, one of which was me, who, who worked on a set of integrated circuits to make this small television set. I mean, uh, when I say small, the, the screen was only two inches in diagonal. And uh, the plan was that this uh, television set would be about eight inches deep. Well, we had to develop some special integrated circuits. And uh, in fact, I developed one of them. And um, well, by about 1976, um, the television was in a state to be mass produced. Clive Sinclair wasn't uh, happy with this. He, he had the ambitions to make the television set even smaller than what it was. And there was a, a very clever way of doing this, and that was to um, de redesign the tube, the what we call a CRT, and uh, basically bend it through a right angle. So the picture went through a right angle and made, it meant you viewed the um, moving picture from the side of the tube and meant the depth of the um, television was much smaller. And um, But this did require um, a, a new tube to be developed. Uh, so there was a small production plant um, set up in, in, in the, the, the mill where we were working to produce prototypes the uh, ZX Spectrum um, and the money from that helped to finance the tooling of this uh, small flat tube.